Hi and welcome back to Cannon Fodder, the channel for Arsenal fans all over this world. Welcome back to a never play a profile segment, but before I get into this particular one, one of my favourites for a long while, make sure you subscribe to Cannon Fodder TV on all platforms, hit the notification button so you can receive all the latest and greatest news right here on this channel. Right, the next player is Malcolm Ian McDonald. Malcolm McDonald, born 7th of January 1950, is an English former professional footballer, manager and media figure. Nicknamed Super Mac, McDonald was a quick, powerfully built, prolific goal scorer. He played for Fulham, Luton Town, Newcastle United, Arsenal, of course, and England. McDonald is Newcastle's fifth highest goal scorer of all time. He also won England's Golden Boot with Newcastle in 1975 and with Arsenal in 1977. Born in Fulham, near Craven Cottage, he attended the same school as former Genesis and GTR guitarist Steve Hackett. McDonald started his career as fullback before switching to centre forward. He started his career at Barnet after playing for non league side Tottridge Angels. His schoolboy hero Bobby Robson paid £1,000 to sign him for Fulham in 1968, just after their relegation from the League First Division. A year later, he moved to Luton Town. At Luton, he scored 58 times in 101 matches. Newcastle United manager Joe Harvey signed him for £180,000 in the summer of 1971. He made an immediate impact by scoring a hat-trick on his home debut against Liverpool. It was in this game that McDonald earned his name Super Mac which came from a chant by the Newcastle fans to the tune of Jesus Christ Superstar, namely Super Mac Superstar. How many goals have you scored so far? In his first season, Newcastle were bottom of the table on the 30th of October 1971, after Everton handed them their fifth consecutive defeat of the season. That match was the Newcastle debut of Tony Green. With Green and McDonald teaming up effectively up front for Newcastle, the team prospered with an unbeaten run of five wins, two draws, to climb up the table. They finished the league 11th, with McDonald scoring 30 goals in just 52 games in his first season to be Newcastle's top scorer in 1972. He top scored again in 1973, 74, 75 and 1976. He also won the first division's golden boot for that season in 1975-76. McDonald scored twice eliminating Burnley FC in the season of 1973-74 FA Cup semi-final. In the 74 FA Cup final, Newcastle lost 3-0 to Liverpool. During the TV show Superstars in 1975, McDonald ran incredibly 100 metres in 10.9 seconds. McDonald eventually left Newcastle for Arsenal in 1976 for a very unusual fee of £333,333.34. £333 he was the club's top scorer for two consecutive seasons and won the Golden Boot in 1977. McDonald, at the time not fully fit, got to the FA Cup final of 1978 where he earned a runners-up medal. At the start of the 1978-79 season, he suffered a knee injury in the League Cup match against Rotherham, an ailment from which he was unable to completely recover. For Arsenal, McDonald played 84 times and scoring 42 goals. McDonald eventually retired at the age of 29. 
Yes, Malcolm Ian McDonald, Malcolm McDonald, Super Mac. And he's actually one of the, f the players that kind of stuck in my mind, you know, when I was at primary school, you know, even maybe before um, supporting Arsenal, really, because he came to Arsenal in 1976. I started supporting Arsenal from 77 to 78. And um, yeah, really sad that he retired at the age of 29. But um, if you want me to feature your favorite Arsenal player, make sure you hit us up in the comments box below, that is, and uh, we'll do our, our best to research your favorite player and uh, we'll upload it the following Thursday. Anyhow, this has been Cannon Fodder, the channel for Arsenal fans all over this world.